About a year and a half ago, I posted a video about my server setup. Recently, I've been having some issues with it. Actually, I've always been having some issues with it, especially when writing to the SSDs. It was only recently that I figured out that the issues were actually due to the 5-bay docking station that I had purchased from Sabrent. That docking station was slowing down the entire system and not performing as advertised, so I went looking for a new solution that I could use to connect my three SSDs and one spinning Rust drive to the laptop that I use as a server. What I found was a little card that was only 24 euros and connects into the second M.2 slot that's on the laptop and converts it to six SATA ports.
After connecting all the drives and trying to troubleshoot why they weren't working, I realized that I never connected power to the drives. So I had to go on Amazon and get a power supply. I'm happy to report that this new and improved setup actually did improve the speeds like crazy. It's really like having a whole new server now. It feels like I replaced it with a much faster machine just because everything's so much snappier, especially the Docker containers that use SQLite containers and Postgres containers because those databases are just much faster with the write speeds that they're constantly doing. Whereas the other one would get backed up and it would go crazy slow and I would have to wait a long time for just actions to even begin. So it's been excellent and even better news, even though I was going to do this anyway because the old system was just becoming too painful, I actually reached out to Sabrent and Amazon and even though it had been over a year and a half since I bought this thing, Amazon actually let me return it since it never really did what it said it was supposed to do. Even though this isn't the prettiest solution with the hole cut in the laptop case and the cable sticking out of it, I do highly recommend it because not only is it way faster, but I also did this whole setup for under a hundred bucks. Obviously you need the laptop and everything first, but the actual connections was less than a hundred bucks. Whereas just that five bay enclosure that I had gotten from Sabrent plus the uh, hard drive platters that go with it was over 300 bucks. So it's a much cheaper option and better performance. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to make a follow-up video to answer any of those. So I will see you in the next one.